Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your July 2019 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Virgos. If the message doesn't fit, don't make it, or don't try to make it fit. Check all your other signs and enjoy the message. So let's see what Virgos have going on for July. You showed up in the Sagittarius reading. Mind you, you might want to check that out if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. All right, your first card out. The Two of Cups in reverse. Your next card, the Nine of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. Your person you're dealing with, the Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, there's that Sagittarius. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Looks to like you have a choice. Between two queens. The Magician. The Seven of Swords in Reverse. Oh. And the Chariot. Bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Virgos, check out the bottom of your deck. I would say you're heading towards a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. We will keep those out for your outcome. Okay. But right now you're dealing with a third party. Okay. Okay. I could go into the whole bottom of your deck, but we're not going to. So, let me get a clarifying deck here. All right. So, let's go with your shared energy. You guys are holding on very tight to something. Holding on too tight. Um, you could be holding on to a relationship due to money, fears of money, fears of lack, um, not wanting to uh, get a divorce, not wanting to uh, cut yourself away from a situation that provides you this security, um, but you want this Ten of Cups. So for some of you, you are holding on to somebody, even though you need to allow the cycle to end. Um, and allow yourself to go through this transformation. Because when you go through this transformation and come out on the other side, you're going to be completely, you're going to be totally different as far as your, the way you process relationships, the way you think relationships should be done, the way, you know, just your whole approach to, to how relationships work, how relationships should be. You could also be staying in a relationship more so it's like you have to choose between love or money. And it shouldn't have to be that way. Um, not realizing that if you are living in your um, true purpose, if you are following your heart and living the life that you want to live, that money will follow in large, large abundance. Okay, so in your first position, you have the two of cups in reverse. Um, in a loveless partnership not saying you don't have love for this person but this is one that you the love is not the same it's like I love them but I'm not in love with them at one point in time you could have thought this was your you know your person your partner for life but now you guys have just become more friends more roommates more you know the love is just not the same you find yourself daydreaming, thinking about somebody else, um, being in this place, but wishing you were in this place, um, knowing that you have an opportunity to create a whole new life, a whole new world with this person. But for some reason, you're finding it hard to let go of the other person, the other situation. Um, you're thinking a lot about this. You're in this crossroads, Virgo, and you're thinking a lot about it. Um, you have you have a choice to make between staying in this loveless uh, relationship or setting out on a new adventure, taking a new path, 
um, with somebody else. You're really stressed out about this. You have thought long and hard about this. Losing sleep even. There's a lot of sadness around this too. Like you wish you weren't, yeah, you wish you weren't in this situation because you could be married to one and you don't know how to get out of that situation. You're not sure how to use the keys, use the knowledge that you know to move forward. You could have, you know, sought marriage counseling. You could have, you know, tried it all and it's still not working, but you're stressing out about ending this relationship. Yeah. In that's your current energy. In your future energy, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have this big door of opportunity um, open for you with somebody who's single, somebody who's confident, somebody who is well invested in themselves, knows themselves, knows what they're worth, knows what their value is. And they're going to open this door of opportunity. You're going to have an open door with this person um, because the universe is guiding you, leading you trying to illuminate the path that you need to take to step into your destiny, to step into who you're meant to be. Also, once you start doing what you want, what's doing, when you do what's best for you, that's when this huge opportunity is going to open up. When you invest in your own happiness, you are going to benefit in a huge, huge way. Because if you're not happy, you're not doing anybody any justice. You have to do what's best for you no matter what. Even if it means releasing this relationship. In your person's energy. Well, persons I should say. Let's see what this is all about. There's a queen of Wands here. Thank you. Whoa. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Oh, we had a flipper in there. Somewhere. We might have had two. Because that isn't the card I thought I'd seen flip, but maybe it was. Must have been. Okay. So, bottom of the deck. Once again, a lot of stress and anxiety and sadness over the situation. Over whether or not to leave. Whether or not to move forward. Um, the persons you are dealing with, Virgo, you are connected to somebody who is single, um, super single, totally invested in themselves, knows what they have to offer and knows they can make you happy. However, this person is a secret in your life. You keep your feelings and your admiration for this person secret. Um, but this person honestly has the keys to know how to make this relationship work. They have the secrets of, you know, the high priestess is all about having the secrets of, of the divine, knowing how to um, make a spiritual connection and make it work. This person is very well invested in themselves because they're very close to spirit, close to, uh, to who they are, who they truly are. But this person is also a seeker in your life. Um, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, we got Taurus here. I think that's all. The, we got Sagittarius. Very, very heavy. And then we got Aries, Leo, Cancer, Gemini. We got them all. So, one of the people you are dealing with um, is a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Very heavy Sagittarius. Could be Sagittarius Sun, Aries Moon or Rising, um, something like that. But this person is very confident. Once again, this person is the person who you know is is into the esoteric, is very uh, psychic, very connected, very intuitive, um, and they're also very warm, loving, bright. Um, they have it figured out. They have a lot of passion. They know how to live their life with passion. Um, and they're also your divine partner. They're also the other half of your soul. 
this is the uh, when this comes out in my timing position, which it is, uh, this is who the divine intends for you to be with. Um, it's how I read when major arcana come out in my timing position. Um, that is who you're destined to be with. Um, when it comes out as any other card, I use the numbers as weeks, months, days, however. So, being a court card and a major arcana, this is your divine partner. Um, you know this, Virgo. You know this very strongly. And this is why you are stressing out. Because this is not your current partner. This is your secret. This is the person that you just can't seem to let go of. No matter how hard you try, you can't cut yourself out of the feelings that you have for this person. This is also like the coming together of, I do see you leaving your situation and coming together with this other situation. The other person in your life, you feel stuck with. You could feel stuck with them because of money, or they could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you feel stuck with this person. You feel like you don't know a way out, but it's all in your mind. If this person is not who you are happy with, you have the opportunity. You're at a crossroads. The time is now to make this decision and to get out of this feeling of stuck. There will always be enough abundance. Once, Like I said, when you follow your heart and do what's best for you, your abundance will be no issue. So, yeah. So you feel like you're stuck in this loveless marriage when you really want to be independent and move forward and move towards this person that you feel is who you're meant to be with. In your outcome, let's see, the magician, or the situation, I mean. What's the situation here? Seven of, whoa. There's the seven of swords here, thank you. And the chariot. Okay. Wow. Okay. So Virgos, um, this, this connection manifested in the past very quickly, very strongly. Um, it was your, it was your opportunity to see what the world had to offer as far as love was because you were in this loveless situation. And until you met this person, did you see sparks fly magic between the two of you? This is magic. When the magician and the ace of cups, come together this is a relationship that is magical like it just swept you off your feet you weren't expecting it you didn't see it coming but here you are um you have the tools to make this work you have the ability to move forward but you first have to speak your truth somebody could also be finding messages between the two of you um, about this connection and they could possibly use them to manipulate and control you emotionally so be cautious of that but um you have to speak your truth about how you feel in order to get this this opportunity at big love the the cheating this dece deception the sneaking around um in your current row is going to be put to a stop either by you or by the third party um because they feel like they're being left in the dark they feel like you're not doing what is best for you and so they're going to walk away um, because they're tired of feeling like they're in this they don't want to be this somebody who is the queen of wands and temperance is not gonna put up with this they know they deserve more they know that they want more and they're gonna go get it because they can look at how look at them you know like yeah so this is going to come to an end, Virgo. And you're contemplating walking away from a family situation and doing what's best for you. By this third party walking out of your life, um, due to them not wanting to be your third party, it's going to uh, make you contemplate whether or not you should walk away from this other family situation, which leaves you in this stress, anxiety, and just overall confusion of what to do so in the future energy coming towards the situation you have the chariot moving forward leaving the situation 
leaving behind a commitment and moving forward single towards a Cancer or a Sagittarius um, with the, the two Sphinx in the bottom. Uh, you're being intuitively guided towards this. The universe is trying to illuminate your path once again, trying to show you the way, trying to give you the courage and the strength to do what you want. To The Sun card is all about stepping into your own power and doing what it is that it, you want to do. Why does a baby ride a horse? Because the baby wants to ride the horse. It's like, and you're wanting that, like that innocence back of the relationship. The relationship you're currently in is very heavy, um, very cold. But the strength card for me is actually better in the reverse. Because in the in the upright, it means you need to tame that inner doubt. You need to tame the the inside. You know, balance out the inside. In the reverse, you're getting the balls to step into your own power. You're moving forward after you face your fear and you do what you feel is best for you, what you want to do. Coming through this transformation, blooming, blossoming as who you are as a person. Um, removing yourself from this relationship. Uh, the Queen of Swords is often known as the divorcee. So ending this marriage for those of you who are married, um, but just the queen of swords is somebody who's been through a lot. They're taking their lessons and they're leaving the rest behind moving forward as a new you. The queen of swords to me is always, it always has butterflies in it, which means flying away, going in your own direction. Um, could be sending messages. Well, not could be messages are going back and forth between you and somebody else could be that fire sign, that third party. Um, because you're wanting to create this new life with them, with the third party. The mistress is usually the empress, um, but this is also your divine partner for this group of you because we have temperance out twice and uh, the lovers and the four of wands just as a couple. So <clears throat> you're moving forward. You're leaving this relationship behind that you feel stuck and trapped in because it is under that third row. Um, stepping into your own power, facing your fears, having the balls to do what it is that you wanna do and not letting anybody else take that away from you. And moving into a position where you can create a life with the, the person that you want, with your divine partner. Oh. And your guys' outcome. You have the sun, once again, the four of wands, temperance, and the ace of wands. So that is how I, for this group of you, you are heading towards the third party in this situation with temperance coming out twice and the four of wands, the sun, and yeah. Why is the four of wands here? Okay. So with the four of wands, you got the six of swords. So you are, you are leaving a home that you already have built with somebody else, with your spouse, with your long-term partner. You are moving away from that, that, uh, situation, that home that you have built, um, that foundation that you have already built on. And you're intuitively allowing yourself to move out of that situation and into a new, move into a new um, solid structure. For some of you, you're actually buying a new home. Um, for some of you, you're moving in with uh, somebody else. But you're intuitively guided to this new place. You are allowing your intuition, the universe, however you feel, um, like internally, allowing your soul to speak, allowing your heart to move you forward. The sun, the sun is guiding you to everything that you want. Everything that you are wishing for is within your grasp. You just have to step into your power and, and take charge. Um, moving into the path of enlightenment. Moving into uh, a new way of doing things. A new way of thinking about things. Bottom of the deck. The ace of swords. The truth. Moving into that place of enlightenment. And when you do... When you do move into the path that you're meant to be on and out of this place of being stuck, you're going to get your wishes come true. You're going to get your prayers answered because the divine has heard you. 
Why is this temperance? Thank you. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands. Remind you, up here, the Queen of Wands was with temperance. <coughs> Excuse me. Right? Okay, so clarifying temperance in your outcome. Allowing that healing. Finding that self-love. Finding that balance within yourself. Finding the person that balances you um, energetically. And it's being clarified by the Judgment card and the Four of Wands. So you're getting a second opportunity. You're getting a second chance at this gifted relationship from the divine. This, this is a uh, divinely protected connection. This is a divine partner, aka twin flame, soulmate. However you want to put a term on it, this is who you're meant to be with. The, you are getting, you are hearing this absurd wake up call. It is like hitting you in the face. Like, what am I waiting for? This is my other half. Why would I give this up? And you will move towards that divine connection. 1111, divine union with that queen of wands, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, wow. I've never had the card speak so repetitively in the same, in the same, uh, like both sides. You know what I'm saying? Like the Queen of Wands with Temperance twice. You know, like, that's crazy. The Sun with the Nine of Cups twice. The Nine of Pentacles twice. The Queen of Swords twice. Okay, so why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here for Virgos? All right, so... You have this big opportunity, this big, um, this big opportunity for to follow your passion, to follow your heart, to follow what it is that you want. The opportunity is here, and you're going to take it. You're either going to offer that person that love, or you're going to get this love offer that's going to bring a whole new sense of passion about life. Not just passion in the bedroom, passion about life. Everything, you wake up and excited about being there, being breathing pretty much but look what happens when you follow what you want to do when you invest in your happiness this is what comes of it it's it's so awesome this is what comes from it leaving a loveless relationship to come into a divinely protected deep passionate soul love that is is so deep you have the power to do this. You have the power to manifest this connection right now. To no longer be juggling your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings, your actions. Really finding a balance in life. Allowing change to happen so new can better can come in. You're going to have to deliver a tower to somebody. You're going to have to deliver the tower to this person. Because this person does not want to let you go. But when you do... It will close out that life cycle. It will put a, a period at the end of the chapter, allowing you to have this new beginning. Um, it's going to be with a fixed sign. So Taurus, what is it? Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. Um, very heavy somewhere in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But when you allow that cycle to end, when you allow things to come to an end, where you're not happy anymore, it's going to put you right back in your element. It's going to bring you back to who you really are. Major and minor arcana, back to back. You will feel like you're where you're meant to be, finally. Finally. You feel very, you, you're not happy where you're at. You could be suffering headaches. You could be um, like dealing with some depression, some sadness, uh, anxiety, because you're where you don't feel you should be, but you don't know how to get out of where you're at. So let's see what messages we have for the sacred traveler. There's Virgos in that journey. And remember that all the positions can be, um, vice versa. So just remember that. So you have voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Voyage of the heart. Look at that. You also have fogged in. Go slow and take your time. 
and it's clarified by stepping into your power. Underneath that is Valiant Courage. Taking action with passion. It's time to move, Virgos. Let's see what this voyage of the heart is all about. Okay, it says, you are beloved. You are deeply loved and profoundly lovable. You are a sacred ves vessel for love to flow through you. God, the creator, is, the, is love, and in essence, so are you. Um, in matters of romantic love, all is healing on the inner planes. Trust the message from your heart and follow them, even if they are at odds with your mind. Angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their whispers. It's telling you where to go. Like I said, you know, Virgos, where you're meant to be. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe. When you take time to go slowly, new, per new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the maj majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead in the same mundane routine. Take time to tune into your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax in the present moment. The time is now to step wait. The time is now the time is now to step into the position that you are meant to be in. Even if you can't see what's around the corner, you are divinely protected. So go where you're guided. Wow. And stepping into your power. It says, take back your power. Stand in your own light. Even if the burden seems heavy, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's now time to stand up for yourself, to go after what you want. The challenges you face are making you stronger, but you no longer have to live your life for others. Yet, if you choose, your light can illuminate the path for those who walk behind you. Quit living your life to make other people happy. If you're not happy, it's time to step forward. Go forward even if you are confused and can't see the way because you're divinely protected. You are meant to have more. Okay, we'll get your angel cards. Two for Virgo, two for their person, two for outcome. All right. Your first card out here is passion and pay attention to the red flags. Your person, outcome, okay. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Follow your passion, do what you're passionate about. Don't be stuck in somewhere where you are not passionate. Pay attention to the red flags. There's somebody in your space that is trying to hold you back, trying to keep you from moving forward. Um, they could be hiding something pretty big from you. The angels are trying to show you. The red flags are right in front of you. Be wary of somebody of them hiding something from you in your current situation, in your current marriage, in your current long-term commitment. They're hiding something. The person that you are dealing with. Um, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. First card was that first person, which would be that, uh, who was it? Oh, uh, temperance, that temperance card. This is a romance of a lifetime. The second person, which was the queen of pentacles, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss with each other, your feelings. It's time to tell them how you truly feel Virgo, because in your outcome, you have to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Quit living for somebody else. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So speak your truth. It's not going to just fall away and everything's going to be okay. You have to free yourself and that's going to take some work. It's going to take a lot of work, but it starts with opening up and communicating with your person um, what, what you truly feel and that you, uh, what you truly want to do in life instead of living that life for others. So, all right, Virgos, I hope you have a beautiful month of July. Good luck. Remember, you're stronger than what you know. Follow your bliss. All right, God bless.